Hey, 2021, how are you? Uh, this is like a soft reboot of my YouTube channel, which is hilarious because it barely booted the first time. Hello, it's really good to see you. But then 2020 happened and... So how did I lose 100 pounds in 2020? Uh, it's New Year's Day. I didn't get this filmed in time and I refuse to not get it out there. So it's raining and miserable. I've got a GoPro. There's some beauty in the rain. There's no more excuses. Let's get after it. How did I lose 100 pounds in a year of pandemic? In December of 2019, uh, right near the end of the year, like the 29th, I scared myself at the heaviest I ever was, 329 pounds. At December 19th, 2020 here, I hit 229 pounds. How did I get from this guy to this guy is a lot of determination and caring about yourself. For the same reason that I'm out here filming in the rain today, just do that thing that you want to do. But let me tell you about it. Let's get into it. So the crux of how I started my year and how I went from this guy to this guy was the HCG program uh, at Polo Health and Longevity Clinic in New West. Dr. Alana Polo absolutely has this program that you can lose a pound a day of weight. Doing the program for two rounds, I lost around 55 pounds. Got me off on the right foot. It reduced my cravings, my desires for sugar, uh, reduced my appetite considerably, but doing a couple rounds with a break in between to have the opportunity to have good practices just on my own without the help of the hormone for weight loss was I think really critical. I'm gonna go into a lot more detail uh, about the HCG diet, about how uh, sort of like a day in the life or a week in the life perhaps, cook some recipes, that kind of stuff. If it's available in your area and you wanna get a kickstart on your weight loss, it's worth the investment in yourself. Think about how much money you pay to maintain your car, the equipment you use for work, anything like that. And just think this is your one body, man. <laughs> you gotta take care of it. Having finished the HCG plan, uh, two 40 day rounds. Again, I had no goal. I had no goal to make a hundred pounds in a year. I just wanted to see what I could do just for me. After HCG, so that initial chunk of weight loss which really helped my appetite, my sugar cravings, my biggest problem being Coca-Cola. Like that plan, it gives you so much ammunition because it moves along quick. It also helps you form better habits and you're cooking all the time, which was great in quarantine. Cook a lot of chicken breasts, a lot of Brussels sprouts. The next big step, Falling with all of the same uh, rhythm, essentially, as HCG, though, was getting into intermittent fasting. Keeping my portions small, but starting to incorporate more fats and things, starting to incorporate just like the smallest amount of carbs, that kind of stuff. Keeping myself eating between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. And really incorporating more exercise. And people who really inspired me in that phase, uh, one of them particularly is my longtime personal trainer, and friend over the years through ups and downs and certainly struggling with me, a guy who never seemed to commit uh, is Johnny Dyer from Dyer Fitness. He's the best. Uh, here's how cool he is. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, I took a lot of the things I've learned over years of working out. And I mean, if you have never been to a personal trainer, get in there just to learn some basics of your body mechanics, good positioning. So you're gonna be working out at least fairly safe, fairly smart, and have the tools to do workouts at home, especially when gyms and things are closing and we have been dealing with COVID last year. That was absolutely key, but having a workout buddy was really important as well. My friend Lorraine, she had delivered a beautiful baby boy in February, right before the pandemic, and uh, was kind of feeling, you know, motivation to get some of her body back, but especially just get her strength and mobility back. We were doing a lot of FaceTime workouts, and I was enjoying sharing a little bit of the knowledge that I've built up of personal training over the years. Having motivation and other workout buddies, like meeting up with friends or talking to people about your goals, it's hard to talk about yourself, perhaps, especially when you're really struggling with your weight. Um, but I find it's infinitely more helpful to reach out to friends and people that you know are motivated or to get motivated 
And man, there's nothing like having the accountability of wanting to work out with a friend, you know, FaceTime and connect with people. And that was huge. Having someone in your corner that wants you to, encouraging each other, reaching out and letting yourself sort of share your struggles and <laughs> your goals and having that in quarantine and the early part of the pandemic and having someone to call and see and feel motivated um, mutually motivated was actually a really huge thing for my mental health, I think, as well as my success. We get quite a few months in and we were working out, give or take, um, three times a week, two to three times a week, uh, sometimes every day, sometimes less, but it really set me up for success. Now, the biggest message that I wanna put on here just to finish this off of how I lost this 100 pounds is that I just kept looking at the scale, but not every day, not every week. There's gonna be lots of fluctuations in your week, but if you're following good behavior, if you're out there, if you're jogging every day, if you're, if you're, man, I had never run in my adult life, really, and now I can go for a jog. The difference that it started to make as I started to lose weight was part of what just kept me going. Just feeling the ache in my joints at the end of the day, uh, just, feeling well and lighter physically. I was never super unhappy with my body. I was never, I never hated my body. But the feeling of loving myself more, the feeling of self-care and self-worth, it just starts to infect you and you can have blips and you just gotta realize that that's okay. That I would do a diet, I would have a cheat day, and then I would just sort of give up. The burgers and things, they are amazingly delicious. Of course, I don't stop eating pizza, but I'm not eating all day long. I'm reduced to really enjoying a cola, if it's gonna be my dessert, perhaps, enjoying a Coke with some video games. Major key of success is drinking water. And man, as a guy who loves my soda, pop, Coca-Cola, oh boy. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to just stick with that water, but it's absolutely part of the keys of success. Man, you gotta drink water all the time to lose weight. It's just, <laughs> at times you gotta pee a lot. But your body just runs better when it's hydrated. That's a huge thing. Water. Water. Get a mug, water bottle, a thermos, something that you like to carry around. Something that a straw? Straws seem to help a lot. Whatever you're waiting on doing, the biggest obstruction for me getting my YouTube channel going, for example, my weight loss before, was that my brain would get in the way and always find a way to talk myself out of it. For example, I could have lit a scene and sat down and interviewed myself with perfect audio and a perfect condition in a perfect video. And that's my background and when you're an overthinking person, you're a perfectionist, a lot of these things get in the way of just getting shit done. So. Take that first step. Take that baby step. Just get that thing done. Whatever project you're pushing off, whatever goals you're putting off, find that first step. And maybe, hopefully, as I get into some of the more details about my home workout, cooking, healthy cooking, and my breakdown of the HG diet and some of those recipes, that gives you motivation to even just start planning. Set a date, set a goal. My friends and family have been my biggest support and that's not surprising it's cliche but having people that are cheering you on actually makes a huge difference make sure your friends are people who really do support you when you tell them hey i'm just having a protein shake for lunch they should still have a burger or make a nice salad or whatever have friends and family that will encourage you to stick with that plan and not be like no you got to eat you got to eat and sharing sharing your successes with people is actually like even if it's not huge will actually really motivate you to keep going so share more and just whatever you're trying to do let's get after it write it down take that first step figure out how you can get into your goals and the sooner you start the sooner you're there let's do this you can do it i believe in you and i'm excited to see what projects you're working on like a year from now